I was in Afghanistan for the past eight months and then uh, all of a sudden when things changed and the Taliban came uh, to Kabul and they took over, uh, I was left uh, with no choice but to, to leave Afghanistan and we left in a, in a very, very, um, uh, you know, difficult manner. It was, it was a, you know, very challenging for me and for my fiance, uh, you know, because uh, I have been a, uh, besides the fact that I, I'm a singer, I've also been a very um, outspoken uh, uh, women's rights activist in Afghanistan. And especially for me, it was difficult because uh, by the time we wanted to leave, uh, there was like Taliban checkpoints uh, all, uh, all over the place. And, uh, you know, we were too, very scared uh, to be caught alive. Uh, and uh, the, the major challenge was, you know, the journey from home to the airport. That's when where the problem was. And then, uh, but fortunately, you know, we made it to the airport and we were evacuated by uh, the American um, uh, Army uh, airplane, a C-17. Um, there was uh, my fiance and I with a few other uh, hundred uh, people who were all like American passport holders. And we were, I guess, the lucky ones. What did you see around you when you reached the airport? We saw some terrible scenes. A lot of Afghan children, old people were all there. Can you give us a blow by blow account? And can you just tell us, did you face any Taliban during the checkpoints? It, it was absolute chaos. Just as you see the videos, uh, that's what I actually experienced physically when I was there. Uh, so basically, um, my, my uh, flight was on the 15th of August, actually. I was booked on a, a commercial flight, but unfortunately that's uh, the day when Taliban took over Kabul. So um, my flight was like at 8 uh, p.m. and then we made our way to the airport and Taliban were not there uh, until then. So we get to the airport and the airport's like filled up with like thousands and thousands of people. Everybody's trying to get out. Uh, as you said, small children, you know, like they're piled on top of each other and everything. But still, there was no Taliban, and we were hoping that we will be checked in and we will leave by eight o'clock. Unfortunately, within uh, a span of a few hours, by the time it was like five, six in the evening, we heard gunshots. And while we are inside the airport, we heard gunshots, and then suddenly the entire uh, uh, aeroplane, uh, sorry, airport staff, including the the security, they all left, and they left people just like that. So people were all scared and they started rushing uh, inside the airplanes and the airplanes were, was like filled with thousands of people as a result of which even uh, the uh, the pilots ran away and the plane couldn't take off so then uh, we had no choice but to you know to plan to come out of the airport because we were hearing news that Taliban they are close and they're going to walk inside the airport any minute and for me, you know, I couldn't stay there anymore, obviously, because I was thinking if they come inside the airport, they're obviously going to check our identities and they're going to find out who I am. So this is like around uh, uh, nine or 10 o'clock at night that they decided to come out of the, air, uh, the airport again. So unfortunately, there's only one road that can take you outside the airport and we had to walk through that road to get outside. And while, while we're walking out, hundreds of more people are walking inside and they're just terrified and scared and they're just running with their small kids in their hands and stuff like that. So at the end of this road, this is where I actually was bumped into a few Taliban. And they were actually shooting. They were like shooting in the air because they, they were trying to like scatter people around. And all these people who were trying to like get inside, they didn't want them to let them get inside that they were just shooting around and um i just you know we, we're just walking and, and i see a bunch of them and I, I i look i even saw a senior talib who was standing in the middle of what is what his hands behind him and he was just really like scanning people because amongst us uh on that uh, airplane that we were supposed to take off there was a few official you know uh government people a few very important people on that flight as well and so this is why they were checking to see if they can find them, you know, amongst the crowd. And then fortunately I was covered in a hijab and I was covering my face as well and you could only see my eyes. 
and uh, luckily they did not recognize me amongst the people and then somehow we just got out of there uh, and then the the next day we attempted for the air, airport again 